Hello guys, it's the Black Heart Guru back with another video. Now, when it comes to Dodge, y'all know, y'all already know that I am hard on them, but it's all out of fun. But this particular SUV from Dodge is, it's a monster. Let's take a look at it. The Dodge Durango SRT 392. This thing is nastier than a five-year-old's nose after a common cold. It goes zero to 60 in 4.1 seconds. This behemoth makes... 475 horsepower and 470 foot-pounds of torque with an 8,700 pound towing capacity. This thing also comes with lunch control. All right, now, as I said in my previous 392 videos, or better yet, my 5.7 versus the 392 video, yeah, the 392s are not meant to be boosted in any sort of way. They're meant to be taken off the lot and driven. Now, they are reliable as long as you're not trying to throw boost at it but they can only handle about five to ten pounds the biggest issue is the high compression and the weak rods basically the crank is okay the crankshaft is okay it's like a forged steel material but the pistons and the rods are going to just disintegrate these things throw more rod than an elderly man on a gas station pill but i was asked Hey, how can I make six to eight hundred horsepower or above? Now, this is for the people that want to make a thousand or more horsepower out of these big ass trucks. Okay, so there's multiple ways you can mod a 392. You can just forge the rods and pistons since the stock ones in the 392 are pretty much dog shit. Then get a Hellcat supercharger adapter kit so that you can put a Hellcat supercharger on top of your 392. Don't forget ARP head and main studs, some ID1050 injectors or ID1200 injectors, depending on what it is, you're, uh, what type of power levels you're looking for. Oh, man, it's a, it's a whole lot of ways you can go here. You don't even have to go the supercharger route. You can go the turbo route. But let's say just forging the internals isn't enough. What else could you do? You could do this. Now, assuming the rest of your drivetrain is built, and everything is like where you need it to be as far as handling this type of power, you should go ahead and turn it 392 into a 426 stroker. This particular 426 stroker package, it's good for 600 naturally aspirated horses, but if you're planning on boosting it, it's going to make 1,400 horsepower around that area. And these people are called fast lane performance. So you can go with a Whipple supercharger, but these things are damn near eight to $10,000. Or for a whole lot cheaper now, you can get a mid-mount turbo made for this behemoth and drag more ass than an elderly woman.